Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna show you how to hook up your paddleboard to your bike using a little tire bike trailer. I have gotten so many questions on how we ride our paddleboards down to the lake. And every time we ride down to the lake, people stop us and ask us to show them our setup. And so I thought it'd be fun to do a little tutorial on how to put your paddleboard onto your bike. Okay, so the supplies for this are super easy. First, you're just gonna need some tires. And this is just a tire, tire trailer and this is just a little kickstand that folds up. And I will link that below. You'll need a paddleboard, of course. You'll also need a couple bungee cords. This one is 24 inches. And I find it works perfectly for my board. Depends on the size of your board, but this is my favorite one. And then one of these, this is just some nylon roping and it's got one of these buckle clasps. You'll also need a sewing machine to sew your straps together. Also, don't forget to bring a bike lock so that you can lock up your bike and your tires when you go out paddleboarding. Wherever we go, there's usually a bench or a tree and we'll just hook up our tires and our bikes to the tree and then we can take off paddleboarding and we don't have to worry about our stuff. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is locate either your anchor strap or my particular board has one of these on both sides. Either way, your board should have w at least one of these. Usually they're for your uh, leash or your anchor. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take the strap and put it underneath the paddle board. And then just clip it together in the middle. Okay. And then we're gonna kind of center it and scoot it back to where it feels snug. All right, next we're gonna take this strap and just stick it through this hoop. And this is gonna be the bottom of your board. This strap will actually support your board. The next thing we're gonna do is turn our board over and we're ready to place it onto our tires. All right, so our board is right side up. We've got the strap end down here and then we are going to place the other end on top of the tires. Okay. Once they're on the tires, Jason straightens them out. And now we're going to add our bungee cords. And I like to add two bungee cords because I feel like it makes it a little bit extra secure. And we're just securing the bungees on those like that. We're gonna do the other one the same way. And down there, okay. So now we've got two bungees on the back of our tires, like so. Next, we just need to put it on our bike. All right, now, if it's the first time you're doing this, these two straps will be loose. I just take them and mark where I want them so that my board sits kind of where I want it. And I just sewed them together with just a standard crisscross and I did several going all four directions. And I did the same thing to this one under here. And then you just need to maybe adjust it so it's not touching. My bike has this nice little basket holder thingy on the back of it. So for example, if your board is a little bit too far back, you can just lift it up and adjust these straps. I actually, on my board, I have these nice little things. I usually, rule of thumb, just kind of put them behind there. And then as you can see, the weight of the board is on this black bungee strap right here. Next thing we do is secure our paddle fin and life jacket. All right guys, so that's it. As you can see, you don't need very many supplies, just a bike trailer, a paddleboard, a fun bike, a couple of bungee cords and straps, and you're all set to go. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.